In this video, we're going to go over how to press the side and the bottom seam of your inside of your Chromebook case. It's going to be just like we did for the outside, but with less layers. So you can use the Taylor's ham, slide it inside here, and you're going to press it open by just using your fingers to open up the seams. And then you'll use the iron to press them down. Remember, ironing is a the action ironing is a side to side movement, pressing is an up and down movement. And we want to be pressing here so that we don't get our fabric off grain. So make sure that you are pressing going up and down instead of side to side as you do this. And I'm gonna go up as high as I can on my bag. But once I reach the top, there's not a lot more I can do because my little handy dandy Taylor's ham only reaches so far. So now I'll do the bottom as much as I can and then I'll show you how to do the corners. It's going to be just like we did for the outside though. So if you remember that, you can go ahead and do that on your own. Okay, so I've done as much as I can. I already did this side before the video. So you're gonna do the sides and the bottom. And once you do the sides and the bottom, you're going to take your corner. You're gonna use your fingers to pull out this excess fabric so that you have your corner seams right on top of each other. You're going to open them up so I'm opening those up with my fingers and then I'm just going to press them with the iron. Keep in mind, um, if you remember from the outside that we're actually gonna be sewing this pretty soon. So the pressing actually helps you when you're sewing as well. So I'm just gonna press this seam open and then I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side as well. Then I'll do my other corner, just repeating that same process where I just grab my two pieces of fabric. I line them up in the center so that they point to the corner, but the seam goes down the center. My edges are 90 degree angles and I open them up with my fingers on both sides. And then I press them. Once I have those pressed, I'm ready to move on to sewing my corners.